Good afternoon everybody. This is Amma Neff with Intermountain Gold Refiners Channel here today. Uh, we're going to be melting some gold teeth. Uh, let me show you. So here we've got some dental gold. They are uh, cleaned out. There's no uh, mercury amalgam fillings in the back of any of these. So they're okay to melt. We've got some beautiful gold teeth. Now if I try and put these into acid they just won't dissolve and so I'm going to mix them with some uh, silver here maybe there's some nickel it doesn't matter and uh, that way I can dissolve out the silver and then I'll be able to dissolve the gold go okay we're back again I got my mom to help take the video thanks mom <laughs> okay so uh, I'm gonna load these uh, these pieces of silver into here and then I'm also going to load these teeth into here they'll melt last because they take a higher temperature and then we're going to use a little soda ash and borax basically it's a source of carbon to help keep things going to metal so reduction don't need a lot just a little to keep the dish Good. All right. I burned this glove. Putting it into a furnace and it was too hot one time. It was pretty exciting. If you turn that dish. What, this one? Yeah. Well, we're going to have to. I can only do this like this. Okay. <laughs> so we're just going to do it. Okay. We start the gas. Okay, turn it down. Now slowly open the oxygen. Go. We float it out. There we go. Try this again. Okay. When you mix gold and silver together, it makes an alloy called electrum. Electrum is also known as a cryptocurrency. So I thought you might want to know how much money I'm going to make from these gold teeth. I bought them for about $600 total and I'm going to make about $850 off of it. So that's a net of $250 from these teeth. Also, I thought you might be wondering um, what temperature it takes to melt gold. So it takes 1948 degrees Fahrenheit and the torch that I'm using in this video is an oxygen propane torch and it reaches about 3623 degrees Fahrenheit so it will do a fast job
a little bit, pour off some of this flux, and then dump it. Haha, there we go. All right, now that's nice and hot. We're gonna get it on this spoon, and we're gonna cool it now. Is that just water? Yep, just water. So, here it is, still pretty hot. So that's gold and silver alloy together. Now we can dissolve that with some nitric acid and then use some aquaregia later to get the gold. So, that's that. Thanks for watching this little demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, go ahead and click the off. Last note. If you're going to try to melt gold or silver and you don't have an oxygen propane torch, what you could do instead is use coal because coal gets to 3,590 degrees Fahrenheit at maximum temperature. But you would have to insulate it well and supply oxygen to your furnace. Um, please subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thanks. Bye.